Roger. Alpha, this is Aki Hoshide at Nankai Broadcasting in Matsuyama City, Japan. How do you read me? Aki, we hear you loud and clear. It's great to hear your voice. Um, it's nice to hear you representing the uh, Japanese National Corps and uh, being with the students today. Welcome from the International Space Station for myself and Sasha. Hello, Aki. Hello, students. What is it like when you get out of the atmosphere and go into space? It's an extraordinarily good feeling. There are two feelings for me. Because I'm naturally very, very conservative and I do not like doing risky things, I'm very happy when the rocket finally stops its engines and gets us into space. And at that time, I always let out a big yell of exhilaration. Sasha was my spacecraft commander in the Soyuz spacecraft, and he looked at me very strangely when I yelled, and you uh, hi, <laughs> when we got to orbit. So it's a very good feeling and an emotional feeling. Also, physically, what happens is you feel weightless, and all of a sudden you've gone from feeling very heavy, maybe three times your normal weight, and then you've gone to feeling absolutely light, and your arms, which have been held down like this, suddenly kind of come up because they are naturally fairly springy. What kind of objects can you see through the window of ISS? Except for the Earth, can you see other satellites? Uh, yes, we can see um, satellites that are above us and below us, uh, often before we come into the sunlight across what we call the Terminator or at the uh, sunset. Also, uh, of course, we can see the planets and the moon and, um, and the stars in, in very great detail and uh, with more clarity here in orbit than on Earth because we do not have the atmosphere to obscure it. Are there any differences between looking at the moon, the sun and stars from space and looking at them from the Earth? Yes, there are significant differences. The first thing I noticed is the moon looks brown from space, um, even in full daylight. Uh, it does not look white or kind of pale yellow as on Earth. So that you see more color on the moon's surface just from orbit. Um, second, the stars in particular have definite colors that are visible here that I don't see on Earth. Reds and greens, and sometimes you can tell um, a yellow or even maybe a touch of blue in the color of the stars. How do you see the changes of the Earth and its environment from ISS? Have you noticed any changes to deserts, forests? and ice around the South Pole? Over a whole year of observation, um, you can see all the changes on the Earth during the seasons, as the seasons change, the four seasons. Right now, we are watching the um, spring in the Southern Hemisphere uh, turning into summer. And we are seeing the Antarctic ice break up, the ice flows off of Antarctica and moving north now from the south re southern regions. That is very interesting to us. I'm very curious how the Earth looks from space. Also, what portion of the Earth are you flying over right now? The Earth is a beautiful blue ball. Right now we are approaching um, South America, we're over the Pacific, and we are about to touch um, the very tip of Argentina um, towards the Southern Ocean and Antarctica. You can spend hours looking at the Earth. The Earth is a beautiful object, has many, many, many interesting things. One thing I learn, particularly during spaceflight, is I learn about geography and other peoples on the Earth, other than just Americans and English people. And it's been a great privilege to train with other astronauts from other countries and to learn about their countries. And indeed, there are so many countries in the world that do not have yet astronauts that represent them that I think there should be more.